I'll be demonstrating the new insights feature in Microsoft Teams. Now I'm a teacher in a class team and I'm going to go up here to plus to add a tab and I'm going to type insights and there's this right here. I'm going to click insights and we're going to say add and save. Now here I am, I've switched to a populated one to show for the demo. So now I can see what's happening in my classroom. So all these insights, I'll walk through. We have digital activity. This shows all the things happening for the students in my class. And you can see, I can hover and see what's happening. Editing a file, having conversations. And it's really easy to hover and see the different things that were happening. So seeing that digital activity is really important during distance learning. I can click on average grade. And you can see here the average across the class and I can highlight and I can check the average score on these different assignments that I've distributed. And I can go on time assignments. Well, it looks like only 9% of people turn in their assignments. There were some that were late and many that were missing. Average time for feedback. Am I giving feedback very quickly? I can see that. And then communication activity. This is really helpful, especially during distance learning. I can see who was communicating with messages and posts. So over here, it looks like Omar uh, had the most communication going on activity in the class, but it's really nice to be able to just see what was happening. And I can look across all channels or I can even filter on a certain channel, like the general channel. Now something else that's interesting, I can filter on a student. So I'm dropping down the students and let's just filter on Ella. Now it just pulls up Ella and all of her digital activities and I can highlight and see what's happening just with Ella. She worked on the rainforest document, so I can see that there's things happening. And again, I can filter even down to communication files or assignments. I can see the average grade for Ella. I can look at on-time assignments and all those other same things, but on a very specific student. Now, exporting to Excel, you might want to have a chance to be able to export all of these things to a spreadsheet and do even more pivots but the way it is now, being able to pivot by a different student or activity and even by different dates is really powerful insights in your classroom.